so I've published in uh, genome biology a couple of papers, a review and a, uh, a research paper. The main reason that we published there was uh, it was a new journal, so it was quite exciting to participate in a, the establishment of a new journal. And also we felt it was reaching sort of the right target audience at the time when genomic biology was coming sort of into this becoming a, a main focus of bioinformatics. So our experience of uh, publishing in genome biology was very positive. Um, the editorial staff uh, was, was very professional and very helpful and responsive in handling our manuscripts. The peer review process um, worked very smoothly as uh, with many other journals. And when we got the proofs for our papers and the subsequent publication, we were very happy with the result. Uh, the open access concept was a very new uh, idea at the time, and we were very happy to participate in this. And what we had noticed uh, previously was that we tend to get a lot of uh, reprint requests from a lot of uh, Eastern European countries and Latin American countries and also India and China. And so we were quite, uh, quite keen to uh, support the idea of open access. We are very supportive of open access as a principle, as we do feel that it's a, a very good way to make our published work accessible to a wide audience. Um, particularly uh, sort of to undergraduate students in different institutions who do use primary research papers as a source of reference. And also, as I said earlier, for institutions and researchers uh, in countries in Eastern Europe, for example, uh, India, China, Latin America, I do feel that our papers have reached a wider audience um, in those countries. Another positive aspect of open access is not, on, not only open access for the papers, but open access for the data accompanying the papers. And we would like, like to encourage people to uh, publish the data, the raw data used in a lot of computational and genomic studies, both at the journal site and also in public repositories, such as the ones we have here. In terms of the wider audience for our papers, um, I think both our papers in genome biology have reached a very wide audience, particularly our review, which have, I think have had a lot of downloads. and. Uh, and it's become a very useful reference paper for a lot of undergraduate studies and um, in many different institutions, which I don't think we would have had had it been published in another sort of non-open access journal. So I do think that's true. So in terms of accessing journals, we are very lucky at the EBI because our campus uh, subscribes to a, a huge range of journals, but occasionally we do have problems um, when, when we'd like to download papers from a journal that is slightly outside our area of research, in which case we don't have a subscription to. And then we don't, we, we're simply unable to read these papers sort of very easily. And also accessing journals from off-campus is not trivial because a lot of journals websites uh, use the campus IP address to recognize the subscription so when I'm traveling or uh, when I'm working at home it's much harder to access or download papers.